It's 20 towns in 20 days on Eyewitness News, sponsored by Big Y. It's no big surprise, it's my Big Y. Tonight we head to Tallinn County. Drone 3 flying high above our next stop, Willington. Well, forget the big city life because this small town is sure to charm you with its beautiful scenery and quaint personality. Yes, Channel 3's Carolina Cruz is outside Willington Pizza with what sets this town apart. Carolina, they do have great, great pie there. Oh, great pizza, but I mean, honestly, the people in the crowd. <laughs> Are really what makes this town. We've been to 14 other towns and cities so far, but this one is really set apart by its breathtaking views and the atmosphere that you can feel from the small town community. Welcome to the town of Willington. Put your wallet away while visiting this town center. You won't find any shops here. Today we look at it and say, gee, it's kind of lacking. Historical landmarks replace businesses from the World War I memorial honoring two of Willington's heroes to the old post office. If you look across the green, that's the Hiram Ryder House. Home to the man who served as town judge, county sheriff, and town selectman. But Willington's pride is Jared Sparks. The mathematician, former Harvard College president, and historian was born here. When Willington was incorporated in 1727, shells from the South Pacific were turned into buttons and production made by the glass factory was booming. Liberty flasks. These are now a collector's prized possession. Most of the mills went out of business. The most notable, Garner Hall Jr. Threat Company. They even built their own school, which is still in use today by the town. The factory building turned into office space. So what's there to do here on weekends? I have to stop and think, what do we do for fun? It might not seem like a lot at first. We make the best of what we have. Those who live in this rural town would trade the big city sites for these views and great company. It's actually really nice just because we're, we get to know each other. We all grow up together. We're like all super close. Um, everybody knows everybody. We have a wonderful 300-acre uh, uh, Fenton Ruby Park. Where you'll find five acres of hiking trail. I come here every, every day to walk my dog. While some want the town to bring in more businesses, others like it just the way it is. It's a great place to live. We just enjoy being in the quiet corner. I am here with Thule and she represents a small town. She came up to us earlier and was so excited to be here. So tell me a little bit about what this small town also offers on weekends. Well, we have EC Chap in the Packing House, which offers uh, different performance venues and pretty well good musicians, well-known people. This is Steve Katz, will be playing on the 18th, who is a founding member of Blood, Sweat and Tears and the Blues Project. We also have a little museum there and combining historical venues from other towns in collaboration with that. Um, and an art gallery that we started for the community so people can come and display their artworks of any sort. So it's a great town to retire to, which is what I did. Mm -hmm. I have the country living, yet I have um, Yukon close by yeah. and all the other events that I can volunteer for, uh, the library, yeah. EC Chap, other things in town. So That's it's great. It's really, it's really a charming town.